Daryl from Curated. I'm an expert there. I've helped hundreds of people like yourselves find the gear that's right for them at curated.com. And today I'm reviewing the Line Blade 95s in a 176. Just one quick note before we get started. We're not sponsored by any brands here at Curated, so all of these reviews are completely unbiased. So these are a great carving ski. They have a lot of agility in them and definitely it will take a bit of a stronger skier to get them to lay over edge to edge, but once you engage them, they're super, super fun, hold an edge pretty well. I tend to like a really stiff ski underfoot that has a softer tip and tail. I come from a racing background, but I ski a lot more free ride skis nowadays. I do like a ski that's super playful, and these are that, but less so. They're kind of the opposite of what I would like to see in a ski. They're really fun for carving, but outside of that, they're definitely not my favorite. They're also super heavy, and I don't necessarily always want a really heavy ski. So first and foremost, I definitely would not recommend these to someone who has somewhat of a narrower stance. You're gonna find yourself crossing your tips a lot, and that's gonna be a huge pain. If you naturally ski with a wider stance or are comfortable doing that, these are definitely a better option for you. If you're a free ride skier that's looking for something that's a little bit more carvable and more fun on groomers, these are also a great option for you. I definitely would not recommend these as something that you're gonna be skiing primarily switch as they are a directional ski. However, they do have nearly a full twin on the back, uh, but they are back mounted, so just keep that in mind. So these actually have a quite an interesting shape. They have a super wide tip at 154. They're 95 underfoot and then 124 in the tail. So again, super directional ski. They're really made so that you can float in looser snow and kind of push through everything, but still hold an effective edge on groomers. And they do a reasonable job of that. They are heavily cambered and have very little rocker in them, however. So these are not gonna be your best bet for powder, not only because they don't have the best shape for it, but also because they're really heavy. One thing you could do to mitigate that is put different bindings on here. So we have demo marker griffins and those are pretty heavy bindings. If you put like a Tyrolia attack on them, they're gonna feel quite a bit lighter. If you are just starting out skiing and are not a very comfortable skier, even an intermediate, I definitely would not recommend these skis for you. They're going to be hard to get used to because they are an interesting shape and because they really require an active, aggressive skier to get them to perform well. That being said, if you are someone who likes to carve really hard and you like to have a ski that can do shorter radius turns, do longer radius turns, and primarily are sticking to frontside and groomers, these are a great option for you. I'd say the better the skier you are, the more you are going to get out of this particular ski. If you want help sorting through all the millions of options that there are on the internet for skis and boards, click the link below, get connected to an expert at Curated, and we can help you find the right setup for you.